when you came up here out of nowhere looking so pretty? You ain't trying to make me believe in reincarnation or something, are you? Because you're pretty, but you ain't her. She got killed. And now she's dead forever. Welcome to Kermit Uncut. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri is coming out on DVD. You remember when the film came out in cinemas, there was a lot of press attention, a lot of awards attention. It won the BAFTA for Best Film. At the Oscars, Frances McDormand won Best Actress. Sam Rockwell won Best Supporting Actor. There was much written about the film. And interestingly enough, there was a controversy around the film when it first came out. Some people argued that, despite the fact they thought there were great things about the film, that they thought that there was a racist element to it, that somehow the only characters that were properly developed in the drama were the white characters. Also that the film used racial epithets and discussion of racism in a way which was exploitative and didn't really have anything new or positive to say about racism. There was particular attention given to the fact that a character played by Sam Rockwell, who is a cop, who is a racist cop, during the course of the drama goes from being somebody who's objectionable to someone with whom we have certain sympathies. And there were a lot of very, very sort of heated pieces written about the politics of the movie, a lot of discussions about the politics of the movie. Now, the writer-director, Martin McDonough, immediately responded saying, I will stand up for everything that's in the film, I stand by it, and I think it's actually perfectly fine on all those levels. But it really did become a sort of focus point. I remember when I was reviewing the film for The Observer, somebody said to me, are you going to address the controversy about the racial issue? Well, it's only a few months later now, but that seems to have gone away. The film's coming out on DVD. I was having a conversation with somebody about it just last week. I said, oh, I've just got in a preview copy of the DVD to give it a watch again. What did you think about the whole controversy about the race issue? And they said, what controversy? I said, well, you know, the controversy that was all over the place about whether or not the film was in any way racist. I said, was it? I'd completely forgotten about that. And I said, well, all that happened in the run-up to the Oscars. And they said, ah, oh, well, it's like you always say, in the run-up to the Oscars, everything is overcooked, everything is overheated, much of this has just to do with campaigning. It's not really to do what's in the film. And it does seem that you just get a couple of months away from it, and suddenly those things aren't important. And my initial response was to agree with myself, to say, yes, I've always been so smart about this, it's just to do with Oscar campaigns, and in fact, once we've got through the Oscars, we can forget about all that stuff. But then I thought again, and I thought, you know, the fact of the matter is that having those discussions is a good thing. You may not agree with them. Obviously, there are two different sides to every argument, but the discussions themselves are actually rather helpful. My favorite film is The Exorcist, and my favorite character in The Exorcist is Lieutenant Kinderman, a detective who says to Father Karras, played by Jason Miller, that he wants him to go to the cinema with him. He says, why? He says, well, because, you know, I love to talk films, to discuss, to critique. And in a way, that's what these discussions are all about. I also remember, interviewing Milos Forman just after he'd made The People vs. Larry Flint and he quoted that George Orwell maxim about if freedom of speech is to mean anything it must be the freedom for people to say the things you don't want to hear. It is true that in the run-up to awards season there are lots of debates about the politics and intentions and backgrounds of movies that wouldn't happen at any other time and I have generally dismissed those because I think hey it's just to do with awards but actually I think it's to do with the discussion of film. It's perfectly fine to have those discussions. In fact, it's good for film culture because film culture thrives the more we argue about the meaning of a film, the more we argue about what a film says to us or to another audience. I then watched Three Billboards again. I still really like it. I still think I was right the first time around that actually there isn't any problem with its racial politics. Other people disagree and that's fine. Why? Because the very best films mean different things to different people at the same time. Was with a new attitude, Dixon. Your mama been coaching you? No. My mama doesn't do that. Take them down. You hear me? 